here in our prayer garden at our ministry center across the street from the Supreme Court, a block from the Capitol, 10 minutes from the White House. We're right in the center of the action. And joining me is, of course, our chief of program, Peggy Knee Neighbor, and Matthew Daniel, who is an intern with the Judicial Crisis Network and a temporary resident of our ministry center, yes, living sir. upstairs, as a matter of fact, yes, for a sir. few weeks. And the reason that we're here is to talk about the White House Responsible Fatherhood Initiative, which just had a Father's Day event today. Matthew attended that. But first, Peggy, give us background on this, because there's a history here with the Responsible mm -hmm. Fatherhood Initiative that President Obama inaugurated when he early on when he came into office. Give us the history. What is, what is it all about? Well, the White House Faith-Based Initiative and Partnerships, um, the Fatherhood Initiative is actually to take the fathers that are single and have them uh, be responsible, but it's also to take fathers off the street and replace them back with their families, give them jobs, uh, make them more responsible, and military. Military fathers who are away from their families uh, propose more of a problem. So, so it's this, is, this is really fathers. all about the president, first of all, being a positive role model himself yes. on fatherhood, which, mm -hmm. which he has been. I mean, for all the critics that the president has, and he has plenty mm -hmm. uh, for many reasons, on this one, he's been a wonderful role model for a father. And this is kind yes, of formalizing that through the White House Faith-Based uh, and Community Partnerships Initiative. Right. Now, you've been attending some of the events surrounding this at mm -hmm. the White House. Today, you didn't only because you have other duties, important ones at the Capitol, which we all know about that, our regular Monday morning breakfast group meeting, which you preside over as yes. president. Mm -hmm. And she makes an excellent president, by the way. <laughs> Um, and Matthew took your place at this event. Yeah. So talk to us about the event, Matthew. What was it? Well, at first there was a panel of six very influential people in the government, including the Attorney General, and they talked about their personal experiences as a father and what fatherhood meant to them. And then the President came on and spoke for about 20 minutes. And he was there live. Yes, sir. He and was in there person. In person. About the initiative and what he thought was very important. What he, his main point is that the father just needed to be there for the child. He is the most mm -hmm. important influence on the to child's life. To be present life. in the child's life. Yes, sir. Even to be in, responsible in the home yes, and the family. And you have to be responsible and provide for your child. And that was the biggest point because when the father is there, he said that there are statistics that show that they are less likely to get into drugs, into gangs, or any other bad influences. Now, this wasn't particularly a spiritual event. I mean... Uh, was there any spiritual or religious component to it? No, sir. There was very little, if not, if none, religious okay. component. There to was it. at least a minister president, uh, was, present, uh, yes. which is Joshua Du Bois, the, uh -huh. the actual director of this right. aspect of the White House work. Mm -hmm. He is an ordained minister. And he oversees all of it. Correct. But there wasn't uh, there wasn't a prayer offered no prayer. or no Bible verses read. No, sir. Uh, we do know that a friend of ours, uh, I heard Congressman Paul Brown yep. of Georgia, one of the most outspoken Christians right. in the Congress, was present there. Yes, sir. But he didn't speak. Had he been given an opportunity, I think we would have heard some preaching there. You would have heard some oh, preaching. Absolutely. Because uh, no question, he, he would have been on it. Uh, and uh, I have to say, the president's getting a little bit of heat today because, of course, he's acknowledged that the home is not always just father and mother, right. but could be father and father, because apparently this week I think he's affirming the gay and lesbian, uh, transgender, bisexual uh, movement and so on. But all that being put aside, all that criticism being put aside, the event itself, you said, was a very positive one. Oh, it was very positive. Everyone was excited about the initiative and about the president's speech. It was very on point, very nonpartisan. It, it's an issue that everyone can relate to. Well, look, folks, you know, one thing that we've said here is, and Peggy, you know from all our program work, mm -hmm. I know that the president has a lot of critics, especially in our community, but when he does something that's good and right, yes. then it's only fair and just to recognize that. And we want to applaud him. Matthew, yeah. after attending the event today, would you... Did you oh, applaud the president? Absolutely applaud the president. And, and Peggy, you said the last meeting you had at the White House very was a very positive. positive one. On this subject, look, let's affirm the president when he does what's right. We'll always have fair criticism for him when he's wrong. So, Matthew, thanks for sharing with us. No and thanks, Peggy, for taking us into this whole initiative. No problem. Check in with you later.